Hi there, my name is Owen Evans and I'm a chiropractor and clinical director of Backspace Chiropractic in London. If your job involves lots of bending and lifting or you have to work at a low level sometimes, near or even on the ground, this video will help you to ensure that you don't develop problems as a result. So with bending, most of us have heard the word bend with your knees, but what does this mean exactly? Well, it means that rather than bending your spine and keeping your legs practically straight, which places a huge stress through your spine and back muscles, putting you at risk of injury, you try bending in a way that keeps your spine as upright as possible, using the big powerful muscles of the legs to do the heavy work instead of your spine. Now there are a few different ways to spare your spine and I'm going to show you three ways that you can bend in a healthier way. First, the hip hinge. This involves keeping your spine in the same position and using your hips to do the movement. It's great if you don't necessarily need to get right down to the ground. You keep your knees nice and soft, meaning they're not bent, but they're not locked out either, just a slight bend in them. Then keeping your chest lifted and a nice arch in your lower back, send your bum backwards to initiate the movement. The bending is therefore happening in your hip joints and not in your spine and your knees. Use your buttocks or glutes and hamstrings to support and lift you back up to the standing position. Next, the golfer's pickup. This is best used for picking light objects up from the floor, like when you drop a pencil or something you can pick up with just one hand easily. For this technique, the knees do not bend, you keep your lower back straight and send one of your legs back to act as a counterbalance as you reach with one hand to pick up the item from the floor. Think also about keeping your chest reasonably lifted and the other arm can also help to provide balance. Finally, the squat. When bending to lift something heavy or to get quite low to the ground, use this technique. Try keeping your chest lifted and arch your lower back as if you're trying to stick your bum out. This will help fix your spine and torso in its strongest position. Then bend your knees slowly to lower your body down towards the position you need to work or lift. You'll feel it working in your thigh muscles and that's correct. Don't forget your leg muscles are much stronger and are designed to do this kind of lifting work. And if you haven't lifted in this way much before, it will feel difficult to start with as your legs are being challenged to move in a new way. If you find that this is always a struggle or that you feel really weak or your thighs ache all the time, it's time to start doing some strengthening exercises such as bodyweight squats or lunges to improve the strength of your legs. If you need to work low down on the ground, then it's always ideal to find a cushion or two, or even a specialist pad like those used by gardeners to kneel on the floor whilst you're working. This is much better for your hips and lower back. If your knees cannot take the pressure, then either use more padding or try a single leg kneel instead. Try also elevating whatever you're doing to a higher position if you can. For example, if you're helping someone elderly with their footwear, or you're helping a child with their shoelaces, or maybe you're even changing a baby on the floor, try elevating your work onto a box of some kind to make it easier for you to keep your lower back in a healthy position. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please share it on your social media as you never know who might appreciate the advice.